Uh, so I thought you might want to see these. The Markenfield plantation has yielded something else. As you know, um, my <clears throat> basil uh, did well during the summer. And during the heat wave it bolted. And it covered um, a, one of my tomato seedlings which actually managed to survive and got accidentally transplanted outside. I had thought that all of them were dead. Once the basil had bolted I pulled the plant up and it revealed the uh, small um, plant that was growing these. Now these are tomatoes believe it or not. And so obviously the tomato plant then started to grow and it was really quite late. Um, it uh, flowered and the flowers were fertilised and then I was about to uh, pick the vines because I thought, well, there's no way now that the the plants get, it's go, they're going to ripen, at least not on the vine. Um, but then it started to go warm again, so I left it a little. And you can actually see, if you look at some of these tomatoes, the growth pattern of that. If we look at one like this, okay, you'll notice that it's got a top here and it's sort of got a bottom. And what I think has happened is it, it's it, this was the first period of growth. And then that line is the cold spell in which I nearly picked them before it went warm again. And of course they started to grow again. All of them, almost all of them, have uh, that sort of uh, line on them. Some more pronounced than others. They are um, a type... Uh, of plum tomato but they shouldn't really be this big they're usually the usual size is maybe about that big um, it's unusual for them to be quite that size that's that's uh, that's huge now some of them uh, got pretty damaged I don't know uh, why or how that to me looks like mold but it's it's absolutely rigid it's not soft at all um, I don't really know what's going on, but the, the holes give me a clue that either something has uh, eaten them, maybe, uh, or even something is taking shelter inside them. And unfortunately, half the crop here have been sort of tainted by this. Um, there were a couple that I could save here. Now, the chances are quite high that these tomatoes will never ripen. Um, this one in particular is my personal favourite. It is absolutely gigantic. I mean, it's sort of like the size of one of our apples. <laughs> um, but I'm going to put them on the south-facing windowsill in the lounge where it's warm and where it's quite bright and just see if I can get them to ripen. At the moment, they're sounding empty. They're sounding absolutely hollow. Um, but uh, we'll see. And of course we'll get rid of these, the ones that are not so good. But I did want to show you them. That's another part of the Markenfield plantation now, which has come to a conclusion. <coughs> and uh, we're one step closer uh, to disbanding the plantation here. And next year, of course, we are moving solidly and completely to the, uh, to the allotment.